Pentecostal preaching. Only the twelve were specially ordained to apostleship, to be mouthpieces of Jesus to the church. Their decision would bind on earth the things found in heaven and loose on earth things loosed in God's sight. Even these did not receive the Heavenly Father's sanction until Pentecost, when they received the Holy Spirit. Scripturally, no one is authorized to preach or teach except he has received the Spirit of God. And everyone who has received that Spirit has divine authority to preach, wholly irrespective of earthly ordination. This, we are told, is the import of the prophetic words respecting Jesus the head and the church his body. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, for he hath ordained me to preach good tidings to the meek. All who have received that divine anointing have the divine commission to preach the good tidings. Whoever has not received that heavenly authority cannot be a divine ambassador. In fulfillment of Jesus' words, I give unto you the keys of the kingdom, St. Peter symbolically used two keys in connection with the gospel. The first key on the day of Pentecost, to open the door of invitation to all Jews to become members of the body of Christ, the church, through begetting of the Holy Spirit. Three and a half years later, he used the other key and threw open the door to the Gentiles. Cornelius was the first Gentile admitted to membership in Christ. Thousands of the holiest Jews, by obedience to God's command, came yearly to Jerusalem to observe Pentecost. Thousands thus were attracted to the Pentecostal preaching and carried their blessing and enlightenment throughout the world. There will yet be a second Pentecostal blessing. Only the special servants and handmaids of the Lord share the first and attain the kingdom. Under Messiah's kingdom, God's Spirit will be poured out on all flesh. They will see that of which their ancients prophesied.